example. I'll, I'll and paint just one color see. underneath, and then I'll just I see. stamp I see. a bunch of other now, ugly color underneath. As on I'm top. looking at this, this is not just one color underneath. It feels like a piece of, of uh, vinyl with the texture on it. Okay, well, the, the vinyl feeling is because I'm working with acrylic paints. Okay. The first thing I do is I put texture on, and I don't, I don't know if the camera can pick this up or not, but I carve into the texture. I'm, I'm just working... I'm just working with... Carving into the texture. Yeah. I'm just working with white, um, white gesso, which is kind of like thick, thick house paint, so I can carve into it, I can stamp into it, I can put a history on there. Mm -hmm. So then when I paint over it with red paint or blue or whatever I do, you can see, you can start to see the lines that are underneath from the texture. Then I'll stamp another color on top of it. I'm working for, kind of working for ugly at this point. Okay. You know, here's, a, here's, here's like where you might go with the next step. Whoa, so, <laughs> from that to the that. Well, something, okay. yeah. Right. So now by this point, I've stamped on a bunch of things. I've maybe added on some gold. I've added in some markings. I, I, I just cover the page with stuff, okay? Now, then, here's another example. See, this is just, it's just garbage, basically. Okay. Just making a mess. You suppose the downside. You now, once that's I, the most creative mess I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> once I make the mess, I start looking. What's in there? Because the treasures are hidden in the darkness. The treasures are hidden in the darkness. Yeah. We know that because the world is really composed of two sides, right? There's a side that's that's good, that's orderly, you, you have your family, everything's working, you're enjoying life, um, the car is in the garage, the dog has been fed, everything is good, right? Mm -hmm. And then something happens, somebody gets sick. Um, three weeks ago I fell on my forehead, smack, and thankfully it didn't break anything, but I was in the hospital. But when those things happen, all of a sudden, the world doesn't make sense anymore. And, and that side of life, that chaos side of life, that's where all the information is hiding. That's the only place you can learn new things. If you let yourself learn something from it, instead of resisting and resenting and getting angry about it, you walk into that place and you find what is to be found there. So next time when you're frustrated and stressed out, ask yourself, where's the beauty in this? Where's the lesson? Where's the art? <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, if I look at this thing and I want something, I want a painting. If I'm working large on a thing like this, I'll look here and I'll try to see, is there a figure in here someplace? Is there something that looks familiar to me? Like, maybe, maybe that's a bird. You see that? That could be a bird's beak. Mm -hmm. And I could make a bird out of this and I could find other birds then and I could organize this as some birds in a beautiful mystical background. Hmm. Or I could take a frame like this and I could turn it and maybe I could do something like that and I have... Wow. All of a sudden when you give it a boundary, you have meaning. Got it. Because boundaries wow. are important for us to have meaning. You know? mm -hmm. That's why children enjoy having rules. They, the children don't do well without any rules mm -hmm. because they need to feel safe in a boundary. There's another little painting. Wow. Okay. So that's the kind of thing that I do in order to... In this one, I might turn this into a floral. See? Do some flowers there, and all of a sudden, it's a it's a mystical, magical floral. Now, one thing, that, as I've I've taken a tour, um, you know, sort of picking up on your theme of taking uh, the same thing and painting it twenty times. Mm -hmm. um, in, in your evolution of your process, I sometimes you have panels where there's you know there are three panels, and I've seen four in, in the past where you know there's a there's a there's a um, it's evocative of something, mm -hmm. and it, you know. It, every time I look at it, I see something else. I, every time I look at it, I feel something different. So um, I really like this, and, and I really like your process. I really admire your work. 
um, you know, I have a few pieces and I'm, you know, when, as things evolve, I'm going to get more. So <laughs> before I buy it all, be sure to get your own. <laughs> and she also does commissioned work, so, which is more expensive, so get it. And, uh, and I believe that if you tell her your story, she can probably characterize it in the right, uh, in the right portraiture. So um, uh, be sure. Now, how, like, how can people find out about you? Well, I do have a website. Website? Yes. KarenWongArt.com. KarenWongArt.com. Be sure That's to right. look for a link and, um, and... Or if you want to email me, it's Karen at... Well, no, I guess it isn't anymore. I don't have it. Sorry. I don't have that <laughs> Go anymore. to Karen Wong Art first. Yes. And, and and actually, on KarenWongArt.com, there's a guest website, a guest page where you can sign in, and I'll get the information. All right. Thanks very much. And remember, it's not up to us how long we live. It is up to us how well we live. You're going to live anyway. You might as well live with vitality.